Hello YouTube and everyone at Oz and Zed. Uh, this is a quick overview of the Project Oppie button box and shifter combo. Uh, I've been doing this obviously on the forum on ozandzedsimracing.com. Uh, go check out my, my forum threads there and just see what I'm doing. I do some pretty cool stuff. So without much further ado, here is the button box. It's just a standard uh, wedge side profile button box with 12 buttons. Each individual button's work on the screen, as you can see, there's button one, two, three, and four. Um, uh, 25, 6, 7, and 8 are here. Um, these buttons here, now these are actually software upgraded to include the same, there we go, refocus, the same functionality as my original button box I made some time ago. So um, you'll be able to see when you push these buttons, which it doesn't like focusing on you get that soft sort of feedback, the glow so you know at night time which buttons you've pushed and of course they are softly backlit there you go and um, so you'll be able to see what you're doing at night at all times your standard brake force adjustment this here as you know will offset your brake pedal and rescale um, so that's nice and handy to get get your hands with um, now the, the shifter the shifter is basically just your two switches easily wired and uh, these are actually wired to inputs one and two, up and down, like so. Um, nothing too spectacular there. Um, the Z axis, I should I should actually mention this. Uh, Z axis is now analog handbrake, uh, so that is actually available if you want to attach another axis to it. At the moment, I've got it pulled pulled up to uh, to maximum. So when you put a, a potentiometer on there for a handbrake, it will work for you. Um, just showing you the pedal mo mo uh, motion. So what we have here is the Y rotation axis is your brake, and if I roll back that, that potentiometer which is tied to the rudder, um, you actually get a scaling effect on the brake pedal. So that's that's what's happening there. The accelerator pedal still works as per normal. All of these are at 10-bit resolution, and um, and it's pretty much working. Uh, I'll be doing some play testing on it today. I don't expect to find any bugs. It's all looking pretty good and handy and I'm actually really happy with that. So um, on the back, I should show you on the back, we have a simple plug your pedals in, USB lead naturally, and uh, you can unplug the, um, the shifter and mount that anywhere you want. Click, just like that. And that's just attached to this wire here on the shifter. I haven't done much here with this yet. I figured, well, it's a recessible sort of shifter, so you'll cut your own panel, you'll drop that in. You might want to put some carbon fiber contact on that. I'll probably supply some of some of that with it if you like. And um, I'm really happy with that. So I'll um, I'll upload this video. Hope you enjoy it. Any questions? Come and see me on the forum at ozenzsimracing.forum. Nope, that's not even it. Ozenzsimracing.com forums and uh, come and have a chat to me and see what you think. Cool, thank you, see ya.